What's up guys, it's Andrew and I'm back and you already know what's going on today. I'm in the one LE, you've seen it on the title so you already knew, but today I wanna let y'all guys in on a little surprise. The one LE is not any longer for sale, it is mine to keep. And the reason for this is, I know you guys have heard a lot of back and forth and you're probably thinking what the heck right now. But uh, please look past it, the lady that was supposed to buy it at the last minute who was super interested uh, super super interested she backed out day after test drive and this has been going on for about a month now three or four weeks three weeks I know for sure and day after test drive when she finally came and drove it last Sunday she decided that it was not what she wants to do and the reason being was that she was not ready for an $800 to a thousand dollar a month payment which is a thousand dollars for me uh, actually her payment was gonna be a little less with the credit union she was financed with uh, that I helped her go through. She was gonna be getting a payment of about eight to 900 a month. Well, not gonna happen anymore. She's not ready for it. And with the insurance, I mean, I'm paying about 1,700 a month. They're not cheap cars to own. And then, now, don't let that scare you. The reason I'm, play, I'm paying $1,700 a month is because my insurance is 540 something a month on this car. And actually that's extremely good for me because on my black Camaro, after I got kicked out of my parents' name on insurance, uh, you know, because I live in my own house now and I'm married and everything, the re after I got kicked out uh, of that insurance company, my insurance quote was $1,200 a month for my 2020 Camaro, and now I'm in a 2022. So I have found an insurance company that will insure me alone while I'm claiming married uh, for as little as $540 a month. And actually it was $740. And then after claiming my parents on my insurance, after making them drivers on my insurance, it made it go all the way down to 500 and something. So thankfully I was able to do that. Anyway, I'm pulling in the car wash now. I just want to get to the point of this video. I'm keeping the car and we are going FBO this week or next week. Going FBO. So I'm at the car wash now and getting to the point of the video. I'm keeping the Camaro, this bad baby right here. Let me turn the camera around. This bad baby right here belongs to me and me only now. So I'm just gonna have to get used to the one LE. And I've been doing some research on it and I wanna let you guys know a couple of things that I have been false about in my videos. So I have recently learned that the one LE does not weigh more than the two SS. It actually weighs less according to specs. So what I was able to gather from the guy I was talking to, the Chevrolet guy I was talking to, and what I saw online and what I was reading online is the exact weight of the 2SS, the regular 2SS, is 3696. Or 30, yeah, 3696. And then the 1LE is 3686, exactly. So, now I'm sure that's what nobody in it, no gas in it, none of that. So I don't know for sure. You know what what else to say about that exactly but i do know that that is pretty much telling me that i'm 10 pounds lighter in a one le so now i know it's not heavier i know there's a lot of different stuff but apparently this suspension can hold up a lot better on drag racing on a track because it's different than the stock suspension on the 2ss could i, I don't know i'm not sure but I'm sure I'll still have to get an aftermarket suspension after I go FBO. But for now, I'm just gonna keep the drag radials on the back, the SS streets, and and I'm gonna just gonna I'm just gonna race like that. So racing on the SS streets, I'll hook, but I won't hook too hard, and I know I probably won't tear anything up. Uh, but I know on these supercar threes, I definitely ain't going to the track on these stock tires because they they don't hook for nothing. They don't hook for shit. So if you have a one LE. Go ahead and already know those those tires back there are not hooking. Uh, but anyway, going FBO. That's the point of this video. I wanted to tell you guys what's going on. I am actually lighter. The one LE might actually be a pretty badass machine for what I'm finna use it for. So we're gonna try it and we're gonna see. And I'm gonna go the distance with this one LE. So y'all keep up with it. Y'all are gonna know this car when I'm done. Y'all will know this car because it's probably gonna be. I'm not even gonna say that. But I'm going FBO. I'm putting the long tube headers on. I'm putting uh, the intake manifold in. Uh, I'm going MSD, ported MSD, and I'm going 103 millimeter K uh, Tech throttle body or Nick Williams throttle body. Uh, I'm going to kind of go same setup as my last car, my old 2SS. 
and but I'm doing a little more. I got a little bit of a little couple things I'm doing differently with this car than I did on the other one. And it's gonna be a beast. And we'll be at the track not this coming weekend, like not this weekend we're going into or the next. No, actually not this weekend we're coming into, but the next. We'll be at the track and then we'll be at the track the weekend after that. So we're finna go, we're finna go cut up. This first weekend at the track, I might only be bolt-ons. And then the next one, I'll be full bolt on. But I don't know. I'm probably thinking about just going ahead and going full bolt on this week. I got everything I need. So I know the headers are going in tonight or tomorrow. I haven't made a decision yet. The reason I haven't made a decision yet on that is because my muffler shop is 30 minutes away that I've already made an appointment at to get my cats cut out. Uh, that is tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. So I just thought about that. Might not want to do my headers tonight. But it's either do them tonight and then just drive 10 minutes to the other muffler shop down the road tomorrow and get my exhaust welded up or and then my cats will already be cut out because i've done it myself at that point uh because i have to cut my pipe either way to get my headers out and get my new headers in and then i have to get it welded back up so unless i you know was to buy the whole mid pipe and all that stuff and then i probably still would have to get some welding done but anyway so it's either install my headers tonight and then drive 10 minutes down the road in the morning and get my exhaust welded back up or but i have to drive on open headers and i'm in a 2022 brand new with no miles so eh, it's sketchy i don't know what to do but it's do that or wake up in the morning and go to the muffler shop and get my cats cut out and then my pipe will be welded back up they'll cut the cats and weld it back up and then i'll come home and then i'll have to cut it again install my headers and drive back 10 minutes down the road to the muffler shop to get it welded back up but i don't know which one i should do i hadn't made a decision yet but i'm gonna debate and find out what's the best option tonight figure out what, what's the best to do I might just get a trailer and haul it somewhere but anyway so fbo and getting tuned and all that i will not have a trans tune because as you know it's difficult to get a trans tune because you got to send this tcm off get it unlocked get it back then get it tuned uh unless you can find one already unlocked so if i can find one already unlocked that i can just buy then i might be tuned on transmission but if not then i probably won't have my trans tuned but anyway stay tuned everything will be done on video everything on this car will be done on video all the fbo the headers the intake manifold the throttle body the cold air intakes already in there but i'll explain how it went in there and how the old one came out um and we're just going to go through everything today and then i'm also getting the cats cut out so stay tuned click the bell you want to see what's coming next you're going to want to see all these other videos unfortunately this video is just me talking explaining a couple things to you guys but i'm keeping the one le and there's a couple reasons behind it and i've explained a couple in this video but i'm ready to see where we get with this thing and i'm ready to see how badass it's going to be when i get done with it thanks y'all have a great day all right i'm gonna jump out the car here and and wash it real fast and get on back to the house i got another video to make for you guys uh to get started on and get everything prepped up for my install my headers today i gotta get my truck out of the way of the shop that i'm working on now i had to get it out of the way of the shop so i can get mine in there so i appreciate you guys for watching y'all stay tuned and have a great day